This is Maurice with Green Max. We're installing 14 solar panels today on the roof. That's Viet who built the roof right there. These are corner pieces that are going to go in. We've got the first two solar panels landed. There's Dennis. He's installing the backing on the, the heat exchangers. There are four heat exchangers that are going to heat fresh hot water with 140 degree uh, from the solar panels. So it's, that solar panels get really hot in the day. And that's going to pass a hot water heater. generator is very quiet and silent compared to the sound of two large 300 horsepower diesels. The solar runs our air conditioning and hotel needs. Well, if we're not running air conditioning, we can use the solar to go a little faster. We can add five kilowatts of energy per hour from the batteries to the 25 kilowatts per hour that the generator produces, allowing us to cruise at seven knots. We use 30 kilowatts per hour to run at seven knots. I have been asked to explain how we use our 5.6 kilowatt solar array, our battery system, and our generator. So get comfortable, put your thinking cap on, and I'll teach you all about using solar energy on our motor yacht. On a sunny day, we collect about three kilowatts per hour. We start out around two kilowatts in the morning hours, peak at four kilowatts, and as the sun drops lower in the horizon, we drop back down. We average 30 kilowatts a day. It varies depending on the time of year and clouds. Longer days mean more hours of sunshine to collect energy. Now that you know how much energy we collect, let's talk about what we do with it. The simple answer is we use it to charge the batteries. The batteries run the electric motors for propulsion. They also run all our hotel needs, including air conditioning. For a cruising couple, the solar system produces enough energy to run air conditioning 24-7 in the heat of a summer in Florida, when the air and water temperatures are both 90 degrees. If you have guests aboard, you can use excess energy stored in the batteries to run everything for about four days before running the generator or plugging into the grid. In the cooler months, excess energy can be used for propulsion. It's no surprise that most people in the U.S. have no concept of how much energy it takes to do things and how large a solar array you need to power something. I get a lot of questions on social media like, how fast can you go using only solar power? 